Uh, we will come to your two clubs respectively, but first we're going to go to our weekly section where we get an update on Newcastle from Clint. So here we go. It's Clint from Newcastle. Let's have a look. <laughs> Hello, Clint. Hello, mate. How are you doing? All right. I'm good, fine. How are you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, yes, I'm very, very well. I'm very, very well. Um, I'm getting a bit sick of this feature, frankly, Clinton, because every week we have a catch-up with Clinton, and basically the update always is Newcastle are really good. That, is that the latest from you, Clinton? Yeah, I know. It's getting a bit boring now. I mean, we keep winning every single game, top of the league. No, it's getting a bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> well, you don't seem to be too bored about it, Clinton. Um, I mean, I have to admit, fair play to Newcastle. Um, we discussed this last week. Leeds away. Gary Monk had them flying. It looked like a really tough, tough game. And Newcastle passed it with flying colours, didn't they? Well, yeah, it was billed as such a high-profile game. But again, I went to the game itself. And um, to be honest with you, I know, obviously, I'm going to be biased. But I didn't think they really had too much to, to offer, really. I mean, barring one fingertip save from Darlow, we pretty much bossed it for the full 90 minutes. Um, Dwight Gale got a brace in that game. Uh, just how good has he been this season? Oh, yeah. Back to doing what he does best, you know. Current number nine, 13 goals already this season. Oh, you know what? What a snip. Thank you very much, Mr. Pardew, once again for letting him go. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a few Crystal Palace fans who are looking at Dwight Gale going, have you got the same bloke we had? I'm sure he's not. Um, does it worry you at all with his, with his goal scoring, though, that he hasn't done it in the Premier League for what looks like the inevitable promotion back to the promised land? Um, yes and no. I mean, we can only worry about the here and now. At the moment, he's doing the business. So, again, that's what we're worried about. I believe when we get promoted, and I believe that will be this season, we will strengthen in that area anyway. But I think he can he can do it in the Premier League. He just needs the platform and he needs the right manager around him to, to help, um, you know, elevate his game. And that's Rafa Benitez. Yeah, Rafa. I mean, they're five points clear in the Championship of Brighton who aren't having a bad season themselves. Does it look like they're gonna they're gonna run away with that league? I'd say so. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Sewn yeah, up. Pretty Sewn much. up already. Yeah. Sewn up already. By Christmas, think. maybe. <laughs> by Christmas. Sewn <laughs> up by Christmas. That might must be nice to hear, Clinton. Um, yeah. I'll be honest. At what point do you start thinking about the record points tally? Because I think that is definitely in sight for you guys this season. 106. The mighty Red Ink got 106. Is that something in, that Newcastle fans have talked about? It's something I talk about on a weekly basis, basically. <laughs> <laughs> podcast, I've got a Reading fan and he keeps going on about it. Please don't beat the record total. That's all we have. But I keep telling him, sorry, mate, we're after that. We're after the league. We're after everything in sight at the moment. You, I mean, uh, domestic... Oh, sorry, bear with me. I've got a header of football quickly. Uh, <laughs> there has been an own goal. Arsenal are 2-1 up against Paris Saint-Germain. Arsenal are 2-1 up against Paris Saint-Germain. That would be a huge result from 1-0 down as well. Um, sorry, Clinton, you wouldn't know anything about the Champions League. You wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> <me>. uh, <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to peg you down a little bit, mate, the way Newcastle are performing at the minute. Um, five points clear and also Newcastle at home to Blackburn on Saturday, which um, if there is such thing as a sure thing in the Championship, that should be three points, shouldn't it? Well, I hope so. I mean, we've got two big games coming up in this week. We've also got Blackburn at home on Saturday and then obviously we've got the uh, quarterfinals of the EFL Cup next week. So, all fun and games. Fingers crossed we can get the three points against Blackburn. We're actually chasing a record now at the moment um, from Kevin Keegan's days back in 1992. So, hopefully this game can go towards it and then obviously onto the Cup next week as well. So, what, what's the record? Uh, uh, unbeaten streak, winning streak or...? Yeah, an unbeaten streak. Uh, basically, it was in 1992. I, think, I believe it was 13 games unbeaten um, when Keegan was in charge. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, two fans. But um, at the moment, obviously, we're at eight or nine um, altogether. So, obviously, chasing that down, and I think we'll get that. Yeah, still a few to go, though. Still a few to go. Let's not get carried away. Uh, quick prediction for the scoreline. Uh, Saturday, 3 o'clock, Blackburn at St. James's Park. What's it going to be? 3-0. Uh, Easy 3-0. Dwight Gale hat -trick. Thank you very much. Three points and then on to the next one. Simples. Simples. It's that easy for Newcastle at the minute, isn't it? Clinton, mate, always good to hear from you. Hopefully, you lose, so I've got something to talk to you about other than just Newcastle doing really well. So come on, Blackburn. Come on, Blackburn. <laughs> not happy. It's not that, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Good to hear from you, Clinton, mate. Speak to you next Cheers. week. Thank you. Cheers, mate. That was our man about two. About two. 
There he is, Clinton Ford will be back with us same time next week right here on Fan TV.